Good morning, everybody. This is Sunday breakfast. I made the Hungry Jack extra light and fluffy pancakes. Three four inch pancakes are six points. Then there's a tablespoon of I can't believe it's not butter light for one point. And then my normal one point coffee. See ya. Lunch time, and I am having the left, whatever I had left of the Trader Joe's veggie fried rice. It was like a cup and a quarter frozen, so that makes a cup cooked, which is five points. A chicken egg roll from Van Oriental. I get them at Walmart for four points. And then four poke, poke, wow. <laughs> Trader Joe's pork gyoza pot stickers is four points. I drizzled the... Um, gyoza sauce on top but I mean two tablespoons is one point I definitely did not use that much I used probably a couple teaspoons or whatever half a tablespoon um so yeah that's four points plus eight or plus plus four equals eight plus five equals 13 points for lunch we're walking, yes indeed, we're talking, you and me. <laughs> Woo! I am a little bit tired, and you know what? I took the pre-workout and I did a double of Bikini Body Mommy, so I did day 40 and 41, and it was like I had less energy, I don't know. I don't know, I don't feel like, but I was also actually kind of dizzy, so. I don't feel like it affected me in the same way as it affects other people. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I need it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, my best friend or one of my good friends is texting me about Big Brother. <laughs> so I was all, I zoned out on that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. I was just standing here and I happened to look down at like this area and I just feel like I am rocking it for my wedding dress. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to share that. I feel really proud of the fact that I've done this for 41 days and I'm pretty much, we're like almost halfway there, um, halfway through the challenge. It's 90 days. And, um, the wedding is in, I think, 46. So, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen when I... Sorry, my arm hurts. <laughs> or is tired. Weak. Um, I don't know what's going to happen when... I look like... Whoa. I was sweating quite a bit. I did legs and cardio. Um, I don't know what's going to happen when I go to Florida in July. Like, if I'm really going to be able to keep up with... I mean... I, I'm just gonna say it right now. I'm not gonna keep up with Bikini Body Mommy while I'm there um, because <gasps> Golly! Come here Marley Come on. Hi Sorry, there was a guy sweeping his porch and I didn't want to Marley was not moving. I didn't want to stand there talking to myself Okay. Gosh, I'm like really tired um Oh, so what I was saying, I am not going to plan on keeping up with Bikini Body Mommy while I'm in Florida because I can't travel with weights and um, I don't know where I'm staying, I'm at my parents' house, my sister's house. Um, I'm going to be working and I'm going to be doing wedding stuff and I mean, I know that's exactly what I'm doing here, but catch my breath. When I go there, to have two fittings and a meeting with a vendor, um, I don't know. It's just, it's too difficult to worry about doing a planned workout thingy while I'm traveling, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but that is almost a month away, so I still have a month um, in order to do, you know, get as much, uh, progress done as possible. I also, of course, I'm not going to be doing it the week of the wedding. 
um, because we are leaving, I think, August 4th or August 5th to drive down to Florida for the wedding. So probably August 3rd is the last day I will do Bikini Body Mommy. But um, I really like it. It's getting tough though, but this, uh, the number two, number two, what? Round two, part two, whatever she calls it, is supposed to be like toning and sculpting. So I'm really excited to see what happens with my body after phase two is what she calls it, after finishing phase two. Um, yeah, so I feel like this workout is gonna be, not workout, this walk is gonna be a short one. Because I'm just so tired. I don't know. I'm like, I'm telling you, it like zapped my energy. It didn't give me energy. <laughs> it was weird. Maybe, you know what though? Like, things like caffeine, like soda and coffee, espresso, don't do anything for me. Like, they for sure don't give me energy. So maybe I'm just immune to it. Marley, come on. Marley. No. Um, I think we're going to go down this road, little girl. Mommy doesn't feel like walking the whole way. This more, I feel like though this weekend was super productive. Of course, everything I did yesterday. And then today, uh, we worked on the basement. Um, and then, so we finished up the little project down there. And I vacuumed the house. Um, I'm doing some laundry. Marley. Hey, come on. Um, doing some laundry, then also got some videos up, got some digital paper packs. I found some online that were free. Now, can anybody in the scrapbooking world tell me what you would do with a digital paper pack like do you you just download it and print it so you can use it in your scrapbook but then I would feel like your printer would have to be really good to have the colors you know good but um, they're actually gonna be super helpful when I start a sticker shop that's for sure I just couldn't think of like why anybody in the scrapbooking world would want a digital paper pack but if you know, please let me know. I am very intrigued. Um, and then, oh my gosh, my arm is hurting so bad. Um, uh, uh, um, so yeah, I found it. Oh God, what is that? Oh, that did not look like a, oh, I don't know. Could be a very interesting rock color or a dead, bird. Um, come on, please. I'm sorry. What was I talking about? Oh, digital paper facts. So anyway, I found a bunch of those, which is going to be great for like thumbnails and stuff for when I do, um, random videos. Um, and then I worked outside in the yard. Hey, but I lost most of my nail polish because I didn't put gloves on. I forgot to. It's all right. So I did some of that and then I worked out and now we're here. I still have to work, but it's gonna be pretty quick. Um, so I think I'll do that when I get home. Take a shower. I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner yet. It might be clam chowder and a tuna fish sandwich. Oh God, this is gonna be... Huh? Um, yes, I think that's all that I have to tell you right now. So, oh, I wanted to do a plan with me. I don't know if it's going to happen today or if I don't do tomorrow. It might be tomorrow. Anyway, I will see you later. Bye. You guys, I feel like I'm going on like a Tasmanian devil rampage in the house right now. And I just, I had to eat everything. All the things. Huh. Because I got home from the walk and I ate a ton of watermelon. And then I was like, I want something else. So now I, I ate more than a serving of 
baked cheddar and sour cream chips, so they are in the kitchen safe now. And now I'm eating pineapple, and I want pizza for dinner, and I just want everything. I want all of the things. I'm pretty sure Chad won't get pizza. Oh my god. I want everything. I want, I always get like this on Sundays. I just want all the food ever. I don't want to eat too much of my fruit because it has to, <laughs> that's like for this week. I don't know. <laughs> I want more things. Dinner time. Chad did not accept my pizza beacon. So this is what I'm having for dinner. This is um, two of the reduced, the 35 calorie Aunt Millie, two slices of the Aunt Millie 35 calorie bread for two points. Then there is a can of tuna drained for one point, mixed with a tablespoon of that for one point, mustard for zero, and a tablespoon of dill relish for zero. So, Two, three, four, right? Yeah, yes, right, yeah. Four points for that. Then this is the Campbell's Chunky New England Clam Chowder, full leaded. Um, a cup is six points. If you have the entire can, which is two cups, it's actually 11 points. So this is one cup, so that is six points. Total is going to be 10 points for dinner. I am going to go into my weeklies because I have nine points left because of my um, little baked cheddar and sour cream chip episode earlier. Um, and I'll probably even go further into it because I think I want some rice cakes with peanut butter tonight. So, but I'm going to have this for dinner and I will see you in a little bit. This is my after dinner snack plus an apple with the leftover peanut butter. Um, it's actually 10 o'clock. I know I'm eating super late. I'm sorry. It's Sunday. I get I get weird with food on Sundays, I guess. Um, two chocolate crunch rice cakes for four points. And then a tablespoon of PB2. Or, yeah, no, two tablespoons of PB2. Um, what do you need? What is it? I have an apple and the rest of the PB2 in there. Um, but two tablespoons is one point. Don't you love my bleached sweatpants? I'm so cute right now. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna clear out some DVR. And that's that. I don't know. That, I don't think that I'll do any craftiness tonight since it's already 10. Um, <laughs> my hair is just wet in this thing. What do you need? You've had so many treats today. You've had carrots. You have had watermelon. You have had tuna fish. You've had so much. And then regular dinner? Isn't your tummy full? She's so silly. You're so silly. Okay. I am going to say goodnight, guys. And I hope that you had a great weekend. I had a really productive weekend, I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. What is it? What do you have to say? Hmm? You were so talkative before. Nothing? Say goodnight. No night. <laughs> Good night, okay? Okay. <laughs>